This particular machine is our 5014 turret machine, or TM for short. Uh, the 5014 TM comes with a three uh, station, uh, three punch station rotating head here. So you can load up your three common sizes of punches. You can have a half inch, a 9 16 and a three quarter all loaded up and ready to go. This is very advantageous when we're doing uh, parts with multiple holes and different sizes in them so that we don't have to stop or set parts aside in order to do a tooling change. We can just move right on, change tooling, and put two or three different holes in one part um, without having to stockpile uh, raw material. This machine's punching capacity, uh, this will punch a 13 16 hole and three quarter inch steel. So um, down to about an inch and a quarter hole and half inch material. We have a four by four by three eighths angle shear. So you can shear angle material from four by four three, at, at three eighths thickness and smaller. We have a quarter by 14 inch flat bar shear. And of course our machine comes with a built in notcher down here underneath of the punch station. So I'd like to take a moment to talk to you about the punch station first, and then we'll move on to the other stations. Uh, as I mentioned, we have enough power here to put an inch and a quarter hole through three quarter, uh, check that, inch and a quarter hole through half inch material, roughly about a three quarter inch hole through three quarter inch plate. So uh, the 50 ton machine has a, a large amount of punching capacity. It is a true 50 ton machine in that it has 50 tons of power at the punch station. I'm going to go ahead and make a punch for you. Just a piece of flat stock here. So we have a removable stripper. And this is also a guard. Um, this is helpful for when we're trying to find the center of our part. We can center punch our part, get our eyeballs on it right where we need it to be, engage our guard. Go ahead and make a punch. Okay. On this particular station, we removed our punch guide plate. Now we've done that so that we can demonstrate how easy it is to punch leg down on the Scotland Iron Worker. So you grab your angle iron material and you can punch that leg down, okay, and get a nice clean punch and not have to do any special tooling changes or anything of that nature. So uh, if you just simply remove your punch table plate, you can punch your angle leg down. Uh, fairly easily. Okay. Very easy to change tool. We're going to move on to the angle shear. As I mentioned, this machine will shear 4x4x3 four by four by material, angle iron, and less. It is a slug removal angle shear. And what slug removal does for you is it gives you an extremely clean cut. There is very little deformation in that part. Now even if my angle shear blades were dull, the shape of the material would remain because we are taking out that slug. On this machine, we have four-way reversible outer edge blades. So you can flip those blades up to four times. Um, and get a lot of life out of those blade sets. You know, under heavy fabrication use, if you're using this machine eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, you may get only a year out of a set of blades. Or if you're using this machine very seldomly, you could go almost the life of the machine without never having to buy another set of outer edge blades. Um, it's a nice feature, those reversible blades, and they give you longevity uh, in that angle shield.
Another nice feature. As I same. mentioned, it'll shear four by four by three eighths at 90. It will shear half that capacity, two by two by three eighths at 45 degrees. In addition to that, you can make that shear at 22 and a half degrees, and that gives you that saw styled mitered edge. Let me do that one more time for you. Now, Scotchman Industries sells an additional uh, product, an angle finder guide for doing your 45s and your 22 and a halfs. Um, it is not necessary, you can always soapstone your mark or you can purchase for I believe $75 our angle finder for doing this application and hitting that 45 or 22 every time on the nose. Now, there's more than one way to do a miter on the Scotch machine. I'll set this aside for a moment. We also have a built-in notcher. And most fabricators that I have observed when doing their 45 degree fix prefer to coat. Prefer to coat. Now this process is traditionally done with a bandsaw, a portable bandsaw, but it takes an upwards of two, three minutes to do where I just accomplished that feat in less than 20 seconds. So that's a nice clean fit and generally that's the way I see most welders preferring to do their 90 degree fits. So that's our coat using the Scotchman notch here. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the flat bar shear. We have a quarter by 14, so that's quarter inch thick by 14 inch wide flat bar shear. Um, this machine can handle capacities down to three quarter inches thick by four inches wide and anything in between there. So we'll go ahead and do a flat bar shear. It's a very clean shear. And again, Scotchman's component tools uh, concept here, we've got four-way reversible blades. So you can flip those edges four times. In addition to that, you also have your notcher, which can come in handy for various applications. Another one we see a lot of is the flat nibbling. Okay. So you have a very versatile machine having the notcher, the flat bar shear, and the punch station. Not to mention our tool table, which we'll touch on here in a moment again as well. So, quarter by 14, half by seven, three quarter by four capacity on our flat bar shear for this machine. Four way reversible outer edge blades, not only in the angle shear, also on the flat bar shear. And again, four way reversible outer edge blades on our notcher station. So depending on how much you're using the machine, you should get a lot of life out of your blades since you can simply rotate them over time. I would like to comment on Scotchman's tool concept here. Now we have our four by four by three eighths angle shear here in the work table. We can remove this angle shear and slide in a 12 inch brake. And this will now become a braking station. Also, there's a cutout here for the Scotchman optional side-by-side -side pipe notcher for doing your 90 to 90 degree fitments for uh, pipe and or tube. Um, we have standard die sizes from one inch to, I believe, inch and three quarter, and we can do custom die sizes as well. Uh, in addition to that, we can always take out our brake and put in, say, something like an open-end brake, a channel shear, a V-notcher, a unistrut shear. You know, this is our component tool design where an angle shear is made to be taken out and slide the next tool in with a very fast tool change, only one or two bolts back here holding the tool in place.